Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're gonna tell you how to get rich mining Bitcoin. But first, let's go ahead and spin that intro. Welcome, in today's video we have a cute little nice little piece of hardware. This is from Jingle Mining and this is the Jingle Miner BTC Solo Mini Miner. This is one of those smaller USB-C type uh, solo miners that you just connect to a pool, you let them run, they use hardly any power, and you just let them go, let them go, let them go, and then, hey, maybe someday this thing hits a block and you cash in. This little device runs about $50. It runs on about three watts of electricity, and uh, yeah, so today we're going to open this thing up. We're going to take a good close look at it. We're going to set it up, and uh, we're going to tell you how to get your own. So let's quit gabbing and let's tear into it. Let's get a close up look at this thing first and then uh, we'll talk about the complete setup. So let's go. Eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood in my tongue. All right here it is. Let's go ahead and open it up. Comes in a nice little plastic case. You can get these from Jingle Mining site and they run about $50 US and I'll make sure to link them down in in the description and use my code for a discount as well so first and foremost let's open this thing up and just see what's what's in the box, uh, what's in the box? all right so first and foremost you open it up and there's just not much in here you got a little foam pad and you got the device itself let's pull it out of there okay there's the device what else we got we got a couple of pin sets and an extra little wire and plug. Uh, I believe this is to hook in a fan and it hooks into the side right there. And here's some extra pin sets that you can plug into here and here. But for our setup and for most people, you're not gonna do anything with this and you may or may not choose to even do anything with the fan wire. And we're not going to for the setup because we're not going to actually push the clock. We're going to use the stock clock and see how it performs out of the box. So first and foremost, let's get the satisfying peel out of the way. Pull that plastic. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Oh, that's, that's always very satisfying. So we got the peel done and there's the device itself. Let's take a look around. We got one button here, a button here, and that is it for our buttons. And then on the end, we have two plugs. We've got a USB-C, and then we've got that little plug I just showed you where you can plug in the fan wire. So yeah, that is really all there is to this device. There's where your two pin sets can be used as well. And that's it for the actual physical display and how it looks. So that's what you get. That's your lottery ticket. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to a USB-C power and I'm going to use my power pack here because it's handy and then I can just put it right here and easily take a look at it. And we're going to fire this thing up for the very first time and see what it does. So right off the bat, it just jumps right up to our splash screen and it says jingle mining and it's wanting us to scan the QR code with a phone. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scan the QR code with the phone and then that will take us to the Wi-Fi setup page so that we can get this thing set up. We'll add in our Wi-Fi, we'll add in our pool address, our port, and then we'll let it reboot and it'll start mining. It really is a pretty simple setup. That being said, I have never set one up, so let's go make sure that this thing is, is as advertised. Let's get this thing cranking. All right, so we got our device, we got our phone, we're gonna scan our QR code, and... Okay, so this has the QR code on it right off the front, and it says the Wi-Fi SSID is Jingle Miner, the password is Jingle Mining, and you should be able to just scan this QR code, and then it pops up with the Wi-Fi settings for the Jingle Miner, but no matter how I went through my Wi-Fi settings, I could not get the configure screen to pop up, so it's a good thing that this actually happened to me, so that if it happens to anyone else, you'll be able to figure it out. 
I had to do a little research and the easy way, if you've connected successfully with your phone or your device and it does not go to the configure screen is you can already make sure you're still connected to this guy in your um, Wi-Fi settings. And then you go to open an internet browser, go to 192.168.4.1. And then that will actually open up into the configure settings like so. And so there you will actually click the configure Wi-Fi. So then once you hit connect to configure your Wi-Fi, you'll go into and it'll show your, I'll pop the screenshot that's nice and clear up on the screen. It'll show your Wi-Fi that you're connecting to, your SSID and your password. You'll go ahead and connect that. You'll make sure to put in your pool URL. The default pool that is used for this device is pool.vkbit.com. Let's pop that up on the screen. And then the default port is 3333. And then next you're going to put in, just copy and paste your Bitcoin address so that if you ever do hit a block, it will flow into your BTC address. And then for your time zone and your time zone from your UT, from the UTZ, the universal time um, format, so I am on the East Coast in the United States. So that means I'm at a minus five. And so I would put a minus five in there so that the time will display correctly on here. And then after you've entered all that, you will do a save. Let's enter that information real quick. And again, we're gonna use the default pool that is suggested for these devices from Jingle Miner, which is pool.vkbit.com port 3333. Okay, once I put in the configuration and I added my SSID, I added my pool, I added my uh, BTC address, it said saving credentials trying to connect ESP to network. If it fails to reconnect to APP, try again. And then it just took uh, probably a minute, minute and a half. And, and then this thing all of a sudden started showing some statistics here. And the interesting thing, let's focus here, guy, there it is. The interesting thing is it jumped right up to 77 kilohashes a second. And right off the bat, it shows 5 million, million hashes. It says, shows your block, um, your best difficulty, and it's keeping your statistics right here on this nice, cute little dashboard. And I can feel it is getting a little bit warm. Um, and so the stock, these were starting out at like 54. So it does come with the updated firmware. You don't have to flash it to get it up to the 77 kilo hashes like some of the other tutorial videos have done. Um, this one fires straight up. And since it's a newer version, it jumped right into the newest firmware. That's pretty awesome. That means I don't have to go and download the flash tool or any of that updating because we're already on a more current version. So yeah, there is our lottery ticket. It is set up. One of these buttons is power. One will change our display. Let's see. That would be the power one. Okay, so the bottom is your power. It's actually just your display power. So that's neat. It's not actually turning the device off. That is just turning the display off. So let's change this one and see what it does. So that one's not actually doing it. Oh, there it goes. So the bottom one is our display power. You gotta click and wait for a second. And then if you push the top button, it's changing what your displays are. We'll show a closer up, closer view of these different displays, but right there it says Nerd Miner 62,376. That's the current BTC price, booming, booming, booming. And then it shows the current block height and it's showing our current hash rate. I like that view better than the stock view. There's our stock view. And then there is the next view where it actually shows our time. So this is kind of neat because you can just put this on your uh, desk beside your computer and it's like a nice little clock too. Um, and it shows of course your hash rate and the current block. So there are three different views, four different views. Four different views. So let's do a close up look at these and flash through all of those views real quick.
Well, there you have it. We've successfully entered the Bitcoin lottery. This little device is quite slick. It runs about $50 and make sure to click my link down in the description and you'll get a discount as well. And full disclosure, of course, it helps me out with the referral code. What are your thoughts? Is this worth it? The chances of this ever hitting a block are very, very, very slim. But what if, what if it's not like once you set this thing up, you just let it run. As long as it's connected to power and to Wi-Fi, it just does its thing. It hashes, there's no maintenance to it. And what if one day you just check your wallet and all of a sudden you got a block, you hit a block for Bitcoin? Bitcoin that just continually keeps exploding? Man, wouldn't that be an amazing day to wake up and just look at the wallet and thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin just dropped in there? So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Is this a waste of time? Is it a waste of money? Is it a great investment? Is it a great way just to get into the market and hopefully someday strike it rich? Make sure to tell me your thoughts down below in the comment. If you like this kind of content, make sure to tell me. Tell me what else you would like to see. Tell me is this worth dealing with and if you're new to mining and you need some help make sure to join the misfit mining discord there's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out and most importantly if you like this kind of content you like this video smash that like button and subscribe for future content thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride